How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Square Off TV. UFC 268 was the best card I have ever seen with men putting their balls on the line. Gaethje and Chandler cemented their legacies tonight. That fight is going to the UFC Hall of Fame fight category. That is a fact. That was the best fight I've seen in a long time. Poirier and Dan Hooker was great. Poirier, Alvarez was great, but this was something different. Gaethje is on a mission, man. Trevor Whitman, coach of the year, like I said. I went four fights in a... I went 4-0 and oh tonight. Even picking Canelo Alvarez to win. TKO in the 11th round against Caleb Plant. The first ever super middleweight champion of the world. He is the unified super middleweight champion of the world. The very first one. He's the king of this generation in boxing. No one can touch Canelo today. And I'm not sure if anybody will in the near future. Unless he fights when he's 80 or something. Unbelievable. Kobe Covington and Kamaru Usman. I am fucking sold on Kamaru Usman now. I was like 80% sold. When he landed that missile fucking right hand on game bread and knocked him clean out. He beat the dog shit out of Kobe Covington, man. Kobe, I have nothing but respect for. That was an unbelievable fight. He, he gave it to Camaro, too. But that second round, landing on those body shots, just sitting on top of him. Oh, man, his kidneys must have been screaming. I am 100% sold on Kamaru Usman. He is up there with GSP, with the best welterweight champions of all time. I said it. But that I can't stop talking about that Justin Gaethje and Michael Chandler fight. It was everything I thought it would be. I've been waiting for this fight for years before they were even in the UFC. When Justin Gaethje was champion in the World Series of Fighting and Michael Chandler was the champion in Bellator, having straight wars, unbelievable. Like, my wife was saying, telling me to shut up when I'm like, oh, 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 oh shit. Michael Chandler was just wa looking at him like, give it to me, motherfucker. Give me all you got. Oh, my God. This is why I love this sport <laughs> like it don't get better than that other than hockey i love mma boxing like just fighting in general unbelievable just that ufc 268 the Doug rose man <sighs> Doug rose Faced a little adversity during the fight. She fucking overcame it. She's one of the best women's champions in history in the UFC. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. She's up there with the Rouseys and Misha Tates. 
future Hall of Famer. Beat a girl. The girl she beat twice in a row. The first time made it look so easy. They were like, oh, it, it, it had to have been a fluke. That's how easy she beat the fuck out of her. They gave the woman a rematch right away. Which I don't like, but whatever. It happened, and she fucking beat her. I salute you, Doug Rose. You're up there, man. You're up there. This card was unbelievable. And at Madison Square Garden, it don't get better than that. It's like sweet poetry, man. It's... <laughs> Islam Makachev don't deserve a title shot. 